MCTV, best thing to hit Miami County since Miami County. I love MCTV. <laughs> Paul Davis and David Unruh are the greatest. MCTV is bacon for your eyes. <laughs> they rock. Alright, we are here right before she can go on stage with Miss Janova. Yeah. Magnus. Magnus. Hi Paul, Hi. how are you? I'm good, how you doing? I'm alright. Alright, so I'm gonna talk about gosh, so many things. I'm gonna talk about growing up in Detroit. Right, originally from Detroit, Michigan, and um, you know, that's a great place to be from. I've been away from there for a really long time. And um, hang on, we gotta cut. Alright, we're back. Alright, All right. so uh, Detroit. Right. Give me, give me a little two thirty second synopsis of Detroit. It's a great place to be from. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's I mean, a, that's, that's, that's the auto worker. That's the, I mean, the steel. And, it's and an American uh, uh, blue working collar. blue collar city. Mm -hmm. uh, my father was a patrolman and on the first precinct at the first precinct downtown Detroit on Bobian for fifty fifteen years, mm -hmm. and. Um, I was born there, and then we moved away when I was little, and then I went back and went to high school back there. And where'd you move to? Uh, all different parts of the Midwest, St. Paul, Minneapolis area, mm -hmm. uh, Omaha, was mm -hmm. in Omaha for a little while. And, um, and why'd you move so much? Because my dad went from being a patrolman to um, being a life insurance salesman. And, you know, when you're doing sales, you're moving, yeah, yeah, you're moving and the family moves too. Right. So, you, it's my understanding that you are a... You're an award winner. You're big. You, you're big. You actually, <laughs> to be honest, you, you're too big time for me. Oh well. <laughs> I'm just me, man. Yeah. Okay. I ain't never been nothing but me. Yeah, but that's, it, that's, it, the, it, that's the blues in you. It turns out that I'm. It is the blues in me, and thank you for saying that. It turns out that I am. Uh, the last ten years, mm -hmm. a little bit less than the last ten years. Um, there's been a lot of, um, a lot of folks talking about me. A lot of people calling my name and. Um, that's a really that, wonderful that, that's thing. Huge. That's a wonderful that's thing, huge. man. That's it's such a such a blessing, such a blessing mm -hmm. uh, with what I do because uh, you know being a touring musician is not for well, the, I mean, not for the faint of heart. If, man. They're, if they're not talking about you, I mean, good or bad, I mean, you always want to be good. Well, I'm but, talking about you. That's right. Yeah, I always want to say something. Else, but Sam, the stuff they say about you, the stuff they say about you is, I mean, you're you're like the new. The, the, gosh, how do I put this? I'm trying to put this in the most professional way. You, you, you're the bomb. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't put that. That's, that's, that's no, I know it's not it's childlike. Mature, it's modern. It's a modern thing to say, and I, 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 mean, I you, appreciate you, you, that. You're like, you're like the, the next coming as far well, as. Uh, okay, I, it's my understanding the BB King. I was the award award. There's award. Um, BB King Entertainer of the Year. Yes, you're the yeah. second female. Second to woman that. to have ever won that, which still blows my mind. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I can't. Has, first of all, having BB King himself actually call my name. Like I can't, you know, it it uh, still that, brings tears to my eyes. That, that gives me chills. I mean, I'm, it gives me chills. <laughs> it gave me chills. It's still giving me chills, man. I'm like all chilled up, you know. Um, and it's a huge honor. It's just a huge honor mm -hmm. to be held up uh, by the Blues Foundation to be nominated um, and then to to be voted in as a winner. Um, for that particular year, I got four blues music awards, three yeah. for best contemporary female artist, and and then the BB King Entertainer of the Year uh, that I won in uh, 2009. And you know, I know it happened because there's pictures, and I've seen them on the internet. <laughs> but outside of that, I swear to you, it's like just like a it big, it's, it's like surreal. a big dream. Yeah, it doesn't. It was like a big, still like a big dream to I me. Really you know, it's so beautiful. So I am. Uh, feel truly that I'm one of the luckiest, luckiest women that there is. Absolutely. I feel very lucky. So, okay, I, I've got so many things I want to touch on. Oh, you so better make it fast. I'm trying, five I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, All right. put me on crunch time now. Okay, so, um, we talked about Detroit, we talked about the awards. Um, where do you see yourself in five years? Well, if you'd asked me that last week, I'd have said in a wheelchair because I just did a five-week ground tour. Oh, my goodness. Um, which, you know, I, again, glad to be working. Quality problems, right? Quality yeah. problems. Got to be a lot of places and, and don't have enough time to get to those places. Um, and, uh, you know, 
I am touring right now on the release of my 10th CD, mm -hmm. yeah, on, that, and that's, that's on, the it. third mm -hmm. release for Alligator. It's called Stronger For It. So in another five years, I hope I'll have put out at least a couple more records. I seem to put about one out every two years mm -hmm. or so, and um, hopefully I won't have to work quite so hard, but you know what? I'm just glad to be working. Well, see, now, that's one, that's one thing I want to talk about is the right. new album. All right. Now, this is a smith and I'll let you go. I'll let you out there. All right. <laughs> you, won't be my, you won't be my hostage anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, okay, this one has been more heartfelt than anything done before. I mean, you've done, you've done it's like an autobiography. That, is that my right, though? Well, true? you know, people are saying that, and, and I take that as a compliment because I take... I take that as a compliment because I think people are connecting in a deeper way. Um, I take my work really personal. I always have. It's a personal trip for me. Mm -hmm. um, is this new release, you know, dialed up several notches on the personal level? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I, um, you know, I got three original songs on the new yeah, record. Yeah, so we wrote personally. Yeah, yeah, nah, and you know. So there's that. And, those, and those are the songs I'm talking about being like autobiographical. And the, yeah, they are. And the, and they the, are. That, that's the emotion, the heart, that's the blues. Yeah. Well, the, you know, there was a song about killing a man. I didn't actually do that, but thought about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm kind of worried. <laughs> <laughs> who's, are you, you my hostage or am I your hostage, man? You know, <laughs> see, <laughs> see, look at him moving off camera there. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm grateful. You know, Listen, man, I get to do what I love to do. That is, I deeply love this. I travel here? around the world with this amazing band. They're great guys. Mm -hmm. They're wonderful musicians. No matter what country I'm in, these days, people are frequently applauding, and then somebody hands me a pile of U.S. cash. Now, I think that is crazy, and I promise you this much. <laughs> that is not where I started. My life, it's like I slipped through a wormhole. Mm -hmm. My life did not start there. My life started in a very different place. And the music is one of the things that has lifted me up and carried me through everything. Yes. And I am, you know, I'm so blessed. I'm so grateful that this is what I get to do. This is my life. Yeah, am I exhausted all the time? Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, that's life. That's, that, 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 that's life. It's life. I mean, that's kind of like we talked about before. I mean. I mean, I said that I've been working all day and I was tired, but I mean, that, that's life. I'm doing, right. the, this is what I love to do. This is, this is my, my this is my gig. It's good, man. And so, um, <laughs> and so, I mean, what's that, thing? we'll end it on this. All right. Who said, I don't know who said this, but um, a wise person said that if you do something that you love to do, you'll never work a day in your life. I, I, I hear that philosophy. I work very hard. But, but um, boy, do it, I lo I'm doing what I love to do, and I'm very, very lucky. That's awesome. All right, this is Paul Davis with the... Janet yeah, Magnus. I know Janet yeah. Magnus. That's uh, a beautiful name. Thanks, man. Um, and I'll tell you what, we'll see you on the next interview. And uh, stay tuned to uh, MCTV, county-based and community-focused. Community-based. Community-based. That's a big deal, man. Let's do it. All right, see you later. Hey, this is Janet Magnus, and I love... MCTV. It is the greatest thing to hit Miami County since Miami County, y'all. Stay tuned.
I'm Dave Aki, owner-operator, Country Club Estate. Let me show you around our home. Here at CCE, we provide fun activities to help pass the time away. Hi, everybody. Here at Country Club Estates, there's no boring meals. It's all home cooking that we all enjoy. This is where I eat. Hey, Richard, how's dinner? Sure does look good. Got them hearing aids in? Hi, Dave. So drop by and see us, night or day. See you soon. Hello, my name is Dan Johansson. I'm here to give you a little bit of information about the Miami County Campus of Fort Scott Community College here in Palo, Kansas. Welcome to Miami County Campus of Fort Scott Community College, a full-service community college located in beautiful Paola, Kansas. Celebrating 30 years of service to Miami County, we offer small class sizes with caring instructors, giving you the one-on-one -on -one attention to complete your scheduling needs. Facility meeting rooms are available to local businesses or organizations. Come see what's going on at the Miami County Campus. It's a great place to start. Hello, I'm here with Art Hauser, who's going to give us a little bit of information about all of Fort Scott Community College here on Miami County campus. Hi, Danny. Thanks for coming by. Uh, Danny, I, I've always looked at it as community college really has to accomplish three things to be successful. And the, uh, the first thing, obviously, is we're, we're basically think of it as the first two years of a four-year degree. In other words, you can come here, attend here for two years, and then transfer to a uh, four-year institution like Emporia State, KUK State, and end up with a bachelor degree. You can take all of your, uh, your English, your math, your sciences, your social behavioral sciences, your humanities, computer classes, and we offer all of that through this extension. You do not have to go to the main campus in order to do that. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the second thing that has to happen, or, or there should happen rather, is uh, there are people that just do not want to pursue college, should they be able to get training. Mm -hmm. And we have here, uh, we have a CNA, a CMA program, as well as we have a uh, health careers that we work with the high schools with, and then we have a, uh, a, a nursing program, an RN program. It's uh, called an Associate of Applied Science in, uh, in nursing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, those are, uh, you know, they're not intended to go on in, in further, you know, they say to go to the, you know, to the four-year institution, but those are training that you can get and, and go get a job. Yeah. And the third thing that we, you know, I say the community college has to do is community is part of our name, the community college, is uh, should we be of a service to the community? And one of the things that we do here, uh, Danny, is we, we try to be involved in the community. And we have a, a community room that uh, we open up for nonprofit organizations in the community if they uh, you know, need to contact us. If it's available at that time, then they're, they're welcome to use that as well. As the college, though, Danny, uh, you know, in order to be complete, and I say here you can get the full college experience when you come here, uh, we do have, uh, you know, advising services. I am the advisor here, uh, so if anybody would want to, you know, come talk about what does it take to be able to do this or what kind of classes would I need to do in order to complete that, uh, they would make an appointment with, with me. Uh, like I say, we do have the, you know, the various classes in order to make that happen. We also have a couple of uh, organizations here at the college that, uh, you know, for the students, we have the Phi Theta Kappa, which uh, is for those who are, are, are excelling academically. Uh, we also have the, the MICA, which I don't want to imply that somehow those in MICA are not excelling academically. Actually, a lot of our students that are in Phi Theta Kappa have been in MICA in the, you know, as well. But as opposed to having a, uh, you know, a qualification that you have to have this GPA or whatever, uh, you know, anybody is uh, welcome to join. And think of it as a group that makes the uh, experience here for students uh, mm -hmm. a little more enjoyable. So that's kind of what we have to offer. Um, other than just being an advisor for the students, what, what do you do other than that? Like, are you, are you a teacher? Uh, actually, as a, as a small college here, we got to wear many hats. So, yes, I... Uh, I am a f the only uh, full-time instructor in the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the academic programs. Now, we do have a couple of full-time instructors in our uh, allied health program, but as for, uh, I teach uh, sociology and psychology as the primary classes that I teach, but I've taught uh, in the past political science and geography, so just uh, numerous classes. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you, Art Hauser, and... Hopefully this has helped you guys get a little bit more information about Fort Scott Community Remember, College. Remember, Fort Scott Community College puts you on the right track to a great education.
Go Greyhounds!